All right, guys, so I am down at the shop again today. Um, just getting things set up and uh, actually now in the process of pulling that engine out of the caterham. So pulling out the old Ford 1600 Kent engine. And, um, and so right now it's actually just draining some fluids. I'll be pulling it out in a second, but I'll show you where I'm at with that. Uh, but I thought I'd show you, I'll flip the camera around here, show you something, uh, a very cool lineup. Well guys, we got the 964 there, and then the 993. So both cars uh, down, this one now off the lift, and this one uh, tucked up over there. And uh, yeah, so one generation after the next. This one is actually automatic or uh, Tiptronic. This one's a manual, which is really nice. So uh, both in actually pretty tidy shape. So they shall um, uh, probably, the uh, blue one here is gonna be disappearing very soon. But um, this red one is definitely gonna be here to stay. It is really tidy, great car. And uh, yeah, so let me show you where we're at with the caterer. And uh, we'll make our way back to the back of the shop here. So a really handy thing uh, we have obviously with, uh, with this lift now is being able to get under the car and on top of the car at the same time, which I'm sort of doing right there. As you can see, got the engine halfway out now. Just a little bit of uh, adjusting to do before the car is completely out of the, or before the engine is completely out of the chassis. Um, we're just about there, but I did want to drain off a few fluids from the gearbox before we did that, so we didn't create a huge mess. So that is the next step here. I'm just gonna now give this a uh, little bit of a lift, start wiggling the back of the gearbox out, and we should be all set to go. Well, ladies and gents, we are free and clear. So we've got the T9 Ford gearbox there, transmission, Ford Kent 1600 engine, cross flow. So everything looks to have gone quite smoothly. I did make sure everything was unbolted and connect, disconnected prior to us uh, taking the engine out. So nothing really got caught or hung up. Uh, I put a bit of cardboard just on the gear uh, lever uh, connection there just because I don't want any bits or dirt or anything getting in there. Uh, I'm going to use the same gearbox made into a different bell housing on the Duratex so a lot of this I will be reusing. But we are completely free and clear. There we go.